Hey, do you know the feeling when you're doing something like kind of you're secretly helping someone? So for example, you, you know that someone, um, somebody's snow work needs to be done and the person isn't home and you know it will be a huge difference when the person comes home when the snow work is already done or some of it and you just go and do it and the other one will never know that it was you who did it and that that kind of feeling i always get this feeling when cycling <laughs> because i'm not using a car so i feel like I'm, I'm somehow helping those people that use a car i don't know it's strange but it's just a feeling and also like i don't know this this feeling of um you know when it, when it's it's really like now it's 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 just windy and around zero celsius and the roads or the bicycle trail conditions are quite good but there's this weather where it's really like you know it's really work and and you you have to you put some effort and 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 this the road isn't plowed and you know the wind and this ice and snow against you and you're just packed in nicely and you just take a bit more time to do the you know leave a bit 10 minutes earlier or something and and you fight yourself your way through this blizzard or whatever is the weather and and then you arrive somewhere and then there are all these people who are, who are there by car in the same meeting maybe and somehow i always have this feeling that like yeah I know something that they don't know and and like it feels a little bit like like I don't know it's my very own personal hero feeling you know like when you it feels like when you then arrive in some location and I somehow assume that this is how it feels when you I don't know come back from space or some crazy mission or or something like this and like yeah it's a wonderful feeling i uh i i, I don't know maybe you know what i mean <laughs> so i just wanted to share this with you and uh, so now i turn the camera around again and soon the bicycle trail is ending and we are starting the more difficult part of the road I'm usually cutting this corner here when there is no car. Oh, a bit tricky with one hand on the wheel. But yeah, so you can see this road condition here is very different to the cycle track. You see these grooves and trails and and now here this middle part, you see where cars have been driving. This is usually where it's quite fast to cycle, but you have these like a bit later you have these edges right and left of this and now those might be under the snow and it's really like in a way i really like it because it's not boring cycling in winter is not boring it's really something that i enjoy there's a bit of a challenge and i do pride myself in i think i'm a good bicycle driver well, there are people who pride themselves in being good car drivers but I think I'm a good bicycle driver. Um, <laughs> probably now after I say this, I must slip and fall, <laughs> which isn't unlikely if I only have one hand on the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a few words on cycling in winter. It can be so exciting. Like there can be snow that is really difficult and there can be snow that is really the opposite of difficult, where it's like really fast faster than on asphalt really really smooth hardly any friction it can be really fast and um, and also really beautiful is you get to see the tracks you, know, you can you can stop everywhere and you see tracks and and I mean you have all the other advantages of a bike like you can go all the way to to your destination don't have to look for a parking spot don't have to pay for I don't know all kinds of taxes and and insurance is connected to cars and um, 
and and what else yeah of course it's it's so easy to repair a bike or to even build a bike and it's a really nice pleasure to you know have a bike that you have like modified and you know made made to meet your your needs and your preferences and try to do that with a car and then if something breaks you can take parts from another old bike you know like like I, I don't know from how many bikes there are bike parts on this bike you know like old bikes second hand bikes somewhere from self-help car uh, bike repair shops second hand pieces i find or parts from an old bike it's like really nice yeah and i really like this part of my home way away home because it's so um you see like maybe you don't see it but here's the field and it's like countryside and like yeah they have the street lights and you see i'm cycling really in the middle of the road on the there's very little traffic and maybe you can see it but the road isn't really straight it's a bit like kind of tilted or not tilted but like sloping to the right side there's a place coming up further ahead where that is even worse and you don't feel this in a car but in a bike when it's when there is this black ice on the road you know like really really slippery ice you know you can you can slide away sideways <laughs> oh there's a car coming from behind so i go a bit to the side but i really take my space i mean it's their problem to sit in a car so they must drive around like really like you know they use so much space like if they need some space to drive around me with a bike especially if sometimes i have the trailer on or so then like yeah i don't understand like i know people who live like a lot closer to the city center and i've never seen them in the bus stop or using a bike and they all have their cars and i don't understand it it doesn't make sense to me it's not very clever like even if you if you couldn't ride a bike like the buses here they're like so cheap compared to owning a car and they're like you know bus stops every i don't know maybe you just saw we just passed one and there's another one coming up and yeah we here you see some i don't know you can't see it so well i think with the camera <coughs> <coughs> but there are like really some grooves and trails rails you know when they're scraping i think now you can see it when they're scraping the hard snow off <clears throat> so and soon comes the spot where i have to be a little bit careful <clears throat> i wonder if i can drive all the way up my driveway with the phone in my hand i might have to swap the hand hey <laughs> so exciting well i didn't plan to <laughs> to to have have the phone now and, and be filming all the time now but um yeah it might be interesting to see for you i really like this transition part you know when you when you're leaving the walls behind of the city and you come here to the countryside and you know they're like more forests and fields and and you have like time to think and time to also explore and stop and talk with neighbors or um, there's a neighbor living with who I often chat he sometimes is standing outside in front of the door smoking cigarettes <laughs> yeah it's nice with the bike you get to meet people and greet people and cyclists here they greet each other that's something I noticed or maybe it's just me I don't know but like you see here how how tilted the road is and like you see it's really the snow has been kind of driven off and if that is black ice you can slide away it's a slight uphill here and so soon we come to the mailboxes and the bus stop and then comes the uphill in the driveway where it will be getting dark too dark for filming i guess so 
um, I'm gonna stop here and that was yeah that's my way home so I will take you with me until the bus stop and I have to be careful shaky 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 yeah so turning the camera around again thank you for this that was interesting uh, <laughs> and now my hand is pretty frozen <laughs> because I was filming without the gloves on so um, yeah we have arrived where the mailbox is and oh I think is this the bus coming over there yeah that's the bus and here's the bus stop right behind me there you can see there it is okay that was it on my way home uh, wishing you a good time hey do and uh, as always if you have any thoughts just please post them and uh, questions ideas also good times <laughs>